Hey everyone, this is Thruveen and I welcome you all to Power Up Step by Step Beginner Tutorial Series. You are watching 6th episode of this series and in this episode I am going to talk about collections in Power Apps. Before we get started, as always if you haven't followed me on my Instagram and Twitter so far, please do follow me. So first of all, let me move over myself to the Power Apps and let me talk about what do we mean by collection and why we are using collection inside the Power Apps. This is the very important concept that you should know before you get started with the practical implementation of the Power Apps. So let me just walk you through with this concept. So collection is known as a group of data. Now let's say for an example, in my earlier episode we have created set and update context variable. We have created three screens. Let me just go to the one of the screen and let me just create one basic input for the end user. So let's say for an example, over here I am just adding one text input and I am just providing here the value as employee name. So I am just adding employee name in the hint text. And now let me just add one more label, I am copying and pasting. And let's have the value over here as salary. And let's have one more over here and let's provide that as designation. Now let's say for an example, whenever a user click on button, I just temporarily want to create a group of data. Now over here, three things are here. All right. Now, whenever I'm clicking on the button, I want to store temporarily in the collection. To define the collection, basically the syntax is collect. So you need to use collect. Inside collect, you need to press provide the name of the collection. So I am providing here the name as call employee data. Press comma. And now you need to provide your item. So for that you need to use curly braces and now let's finish the bracket. So it will not throw you the error and now let's expand the formula bar. Now let's provide the first property as employee name. Now what would be the value of the employee name? So it is text input once value. So you need to copy the ID of your text input and you need to go and paste there. So let's provide the text input one dot text. So it will grab the value from there. Now let's store the second value, which is salary. Salary is text input one underscore one dot text one underscore one dot text. And the third property is designation. So let's add that. And now let's provide text input one underscore two dot text. All right. So we are done and let's format the text. So the overall collection will look like this. Now let's try to press our button. So I'm pressing alter and click. So it is adding the blank record inside my collection. So double click on that, expand it and you can see the blank record is added. All right. Now let me just add the value. So let's say throw in. Let's say I'm just adding here as salary and designation and clicking on the button again. Now let's go to our code and let's check the value. So we can see that this is the value. All right. Now let's say I'm adding one more record over here. So I'm just adding here as one record and I'm just adding some changes and clicking on button. And now let's check the button and let's double click on it and it is showing you the value like this, right? So it has stored two different value. So the collection is a group of similar kind of data means the same data type of employees, same data type of 
this particular salary column and same data type for the designation column and it has added different rows over here all right now the question arises in our mind that let's say i want to display the value from my collection how can i display that so there are multiple ways to display it and don't worry about all of this thing this is going to be covered with the real example into upcoming episode but let's try to understand the concept so i added a gallery control and i'm just tracking here and let's provide our data source as our collection that we have created so it is looking like this and now from here let's change the layout like this and it is looking like this the first item was the blank item and the rest of the items which has a value all right there is one more way to check the collection value you can go to the view and there is an option collections click on that and it will show you the collection over here so the collection is looking like this now the question arises that how we can clear our collection to clear the collection basically a function used as clear and you need to provide the name of the collection so let me just take one more button over here and let's clear our collection so we can use clear and inside clear provide the name of the collection that's it now alter plus enter and you can see that all the values gone from here and even if you go here and check the collection it will not show you any of the row all right now you can do one more thing instead of collect you can use clear collect what it will do is it will first clear your collection and then collect the value inside it so what happen here is this is clear collect all right rest of the things are as is now let's say i am just clicking on my button so it has added one item over here all right now let's say for an example i am just adding one more value over here current and now i'm clicking on button so what happen here is it will clear my existing collection so it is clearing this value and then adding the stuff so what happen here is i can have only one value over here in most of the real life example what we are doing is we are using clear collect function to store the entire record set so let's say you have a sharepoint list containing the uh, 100 records and you want to store all 100 records inside your collection you can use clear collect and provide the list name and that is stored into your collection all right so that's one thing let me talk about one more use case over here that sometimes you have a requirement of repeating section like employee their salary and their designation should be multiple times so at that time what you can do is you can design a form in a manner that you know when you start creating the records it is always clearing the collection so first we will use the clear function and after that we will simply collect the items so that's how we can store the multiple records together in a single table right so that's how the collection is looking like second important thing about collection is it is globally accessible throughout your entire app so its scope is not only limited to this page but it is can be accessible for multiple screens as well so let's say for an example you defined your collection over here now let me talk about one real life example so sometimes on app start we are binding some sort of drop down so let's say i'm just binding my product drop down so what we will use is we will use clear collect we will use the function clear collect let's provide the name of the collection call product and then press comma and let's press curly braces and let's provide the value name let's say my product name is macbook now i am adding second item which is tablecloth so i'm copying and pasting the same stuff so i'm pressing comma and second item is tablecloth and let's say there is a third more item which is keyboard all right so we just define it on the app start and now i'm right clicking here run on start and now what i'm doing here is i'm going to the screen 2 i'm just taking one of the drop down control and let's provide our collection so that is call products and here we are 
you can see these are the three name property we created there and it bind successfully here all right so many different use cases for a collection so it temporarily clear so it temporarily restore the value inside your app its scope is throughout your entire app and collections value will be removed when the app is refreshed so let's say you started uh, let's say you created your collection on screen 3 but until and unless you are not reaching up to screen 3 it will not initialize that collection the collections the collections value keep in the collections value will store in the temporary storage of the browser until the browser refreshes again so let's say i define the so now let me summarize everything over here so now let me summarize everything so collection is used to so collection is used to store the collection is used to store the group of data collection scope is overall entire app you can access it across multiple pages collection store the information in the browser cache when you hit refresh collections value will be removed so it holds the value until your next refresh of your browser now in the next episode i am going to walk you through with the canvas apps overview so stay tuned but before that if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from me if you are looking for any consultation the website link is available over here and don't forget to follow me on my twitter and instagram so see you in the next video with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye